all right all right so I've got a project here some repair work on a mower lift that I have I had used it when I was moving this John Deere 314 around uh, everything's frozen on it would not roll uh, so I used my mower lift you know under the rear tires jacked it up a little bit and then pulled it with uh, my other tractor there but in doing so you can see the wheels just uh, came apart and the handle here just snapped right off so I guess the only reason why that you know they, they molded that little bracket in there and then inserted the uh, the handle and bolted on is just for probably just for packaging purposes be able to fit it in the box you know <laughs> but uh, but I think I'll I'll weld that back on but I'm probably gonna weld another support underneath I'll hammer all that back into shape uh, see if I can well who knows maybe I'll just take the bracket off and mold the uh, the bar right to it but then I want to put something underneath you know underneath here and and weld it there and give it a little more support but with these I want to put these larger wheels these these are just some spares that I had came off a just a push mower these are the front wheels on it and I'm gonna replace these with these so it'll be a, a little little easier to roll around when I'm you know out in the yard like this you can see with these little wheels it's really made for you know cement in a shop right but I do a lot of work out here in the yard and this would make it a lot easier to roll this thing around uh, when I need to because I, I do it in my yard sometimes uh, I'm out uh, I'll have a customer out in the field and his you know garden tractor whatever is just just out there you know <laughs> and uh, sometimes I bring this one with me but when I was looking at this if you look at the angle here I think because I'd gotten this off of Craigslist off of some guy and I think this bottom piece is actually supposed to be flipped the other way you can see the gap here between the wheel and the, the bracket supposed to be pointing up and it'll be level right here well, let me take a look I've got another yeah there we go here's my other lift so you can see how they're supposed to be the brackets are pointing up and the wheels are not touching the ground this way the this whole platform is sitting on the ground flat then if you need to move it you tilt it back right and then roll it along but this one looks like it was just put together upside down and that could actually be kind of dangerous because the only part touching the, the the cement floor or whatever is just the very tips of the bracket and then the bottom of the wheel so so it has the potential of you know moving around a lot easier when you're you know going up and down on the lift but anyway I'm gonna be taking these off anyway I'll cut these off I found some some steel I can work with I'll make my own little brackets that will fit these tires and then weld them on over here it'll be a little more width to it you can see but it should be an easy fix I just need to cut these down to uh, to the size that I need but that is the project I'm going to repair this one and adapt it for outdoor use all right, so I cut out a template and a cardboard. That's basically what it's going to look like. I'll be welding those on. Then the wheels will sit up here the way they should and still enable this to, to lay flat on the ground. All right, made a little mess there, but cut them down and got on my angle grinder smooth everything out but there's the four brackets I just need to take all this stuff off cut these off and uh, oh, I forgot I got to bend all this back together too and I forgot about that bottom plate but 
that's the way they're going to sit. I'll weld those on. All right, so I think I'm going to take the base of this off so it'll be easier to work with. Then I'll take it over to the bench and cut these brackets off and re weld all that good stuff. And I'll make it easier to, to weld up here also. All right, let's get these wheels off. that is welded on the new brackets uh, ready to be put on. No, I, I need to uh, prime it and uh, clean them off prime it and I'll paint it just to keep it from rusting but after that I'll just bolt on the wheels bolt it back on to the frame alright so there's the big nasty welds on both sides and I did do underneath also uh, give it a little more support but uh, seems pretty solid now. It is a little crooked. I think the bracket on there was twisted a little bit. But uh, not bad. But if this doesn't hold, then I'm just going to weld this post directly to the frame. Because I'm sure it was just, it's a bolt on like this just so they can take it apart and fit it in a box and ship it. You know, I'll never take it off again. So if this doesn't hold, I'll just weld the whole thing to it. All right, so I put it all back together. You can see it's laying flat now and the wheels when you tilt them up that's when the the wheels engage and with these larger size wheels it'll it'll be a little easier to to move around than that one not a big change but I think uh, when I'm out in the yard like this it'll it'll really make a difference it looks like I need to put a a spacer or a bushing of some type you see like right in between here and I could probably just find some PVC pipe or something and cut it down to fit and keep the wheels out like that um, this looks pretty solid it is a little crooked if you can see that it's barely tilting that way I should have test fit it and make sure it was straight it looked straight when I was welding it but <laughs> when I put the when I put the handle back on I can tell it was a little off just a degree or so these the same way this one ended up a little taller than this one so when I was welding those on I should have attached them and went ahead and and ran a, uh, the bolt through them to make sure everything was you know at 90 degrees but that's the way it goes I'm learning learning you can see my welding it's getting a little better. I still kind of suck at it, I think, but I don't know. Um, I, I think I need to get a better welder and then test my skills on it. Because when I was feeding, feeding the line through it on the welder, um, I noticed the, 
the line feed, it's, it, it, it was actually pulsing. So it's not a steady wire feed and maybe that's why I'm getting some bulges here and there because it's, it's pulsing it when it's coming out. But uh, anyway, it's a, it's, a, it's a tough one to learn on that Harbor Freight. It was, uh, I've had it for a two, two and a half years, something like that. And I know I'm not an expert, I'm not a professional, but I do want to uh, do some better welds. And, but that, that'll, that'll come up. I have a few more projects I want to do. I think before I tackle the next couple of them that I want to do, I'll, I'll probably get a welder, uh, budget permitting. <laughs> but, uh, so that was it. Uh, just repaired the lift and made one modification so it'll be easier to roll around in the yard. So, uh, and it's ready to go. I'm gonna get some paint and uh, paint it over. You can see where I primed it, but I haven't painted yet. I need to go pick up some and uh, just to keep it from rusting because this one will be outside. But uh, anyway, I guess that's it for this video. Uh, once again, thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe and watch for my next video. Let's see what he comes up with. He's on the prowl. He jumped on something. What's it going to be? Oh, nothing. Got skunked. But it's either, I bet it's a lizard. It's either a lizard, a snake, or a mouse. Did you get skunked? Is that it?